What is up everyone? Welcome back to the Murphy Lawn Care Channel and today I'm going to be explaining why Gravely is more than likely the only mower my business will use from here on out. So anybody that's watched the channel has seen my other mower which is the IS1500Z. We are currently running two mowers but the IS1500Z is what I start my started my business with. We bought it used at a local dealer and we got a pretty decent deal on it. We paid 3500 bucks for it, had like 800 hours. And really, it, it, it did served its purpose. It got it got us started, got us some business, and um, it's much better than mowing with with the Craftsman mower. So it served its purpose, but it did get to where it was starting to cause some downtime and some issues. It was having um, to be in the shop like every other week. Um, we would make four or five hundred bucks, and it would take you know three to four hundred, you know, to fix it. Um, I think we had let's see the PTO switch go out on it. We had both cool packs go out on it. We had the ignition switch go out on it. And there was a bunch of other stuff I can't remember off the top of my head that it wind up needing. But it got to the point, it just was better to get another mower. Now, we wasn't planning on replacing the IS1500Z, but we were planning on getting something to where when it went down, we had another mower we could grab, throw on the trailer. So we really wasn't looking to spend a lot of money. We actually were looking at like the, uh, the Aaron's Icon, something, you know, kind of decent. Yes, it was going to be from a box store. Um, and the more that I kind of looked into it, I realized I was really going to be better off going to a dealer. That way, if I needed to warranty anything on it, well, I could go to the dealer. I didn't have to go through like 30 different middlemen from Lowe's trying to get the warranty covered or whoever to get the warranty covered. So this is where Gravely come in. So I still have my eye on an errands just because of the price point of it. And really for what the price point of it, it really was a decent little mower. So we called a local Gravely dealer because Gravely and Aaron's are pretty much the same thing. And uh, it's Johnny D. Schubert's out in, I think, Conover or Hickory. I'm in North Carolina. So anyway, we contacted him, asked him, had Aaron's. He said he didn't want nothing that was sold in a box store at his facility. After talking to him, we kind of understood why. Um, you know, the issues they have at a box store mowers kind of makes them look at like his mowers are going to have the same issues, even though... The way dealers, you know, put their mowers together and do everything is a little different. We talked to him about it. You know, he said, I got a ZTHD 52, which is a much better mower. It's pretty much, it's similar to the Icon, but it's also better than the Icon. So after talking to him, getting the price down and everything, he's like, look, we got 0% financing for 48 months, this, that, and the other, all kinds of stuff. We decided to go take a look at it. And when I got there, I got to admit, I was impressed. In my mind, I had a Toro time cutter in my mind. And no one wrong, time cutter is not a bad mower, but it's not something I'm going to go out and commercially mow with either. Um, and then after seeing this mower, um, I was pretty intrigued by it. Like, I was pretty excited. Like, that's actually a beast of a mower. We got it. And after the first time I've mowed with it, my satisfaction just gets more and more every time. Could not be happier with it. Um, one of the things I like the most is the mower deck, the X-Factor 3. Um, it's 10-gauge steel. And if you get on a yard with Zoya, rye, really anything you're cutting around three and a half or four inches, it leaves the most beautiful stripes. I've cut two and a half inches and still had some really nice stripes come out of this. And it doesn't even have a striping kit on it. I mean, you're getting a 100% commercial quality cut. I've heard of uh, one of the biggest complaints I hear people say about Gravely, uh, mostly the Pro Turn, is they leave scragglers. A lot of these guys are getting out there going full speed and you're like, it's not cutting that great. Well, I mean, you're going, you know, as fast as the mower will go, that's a possibility, you know, um, especially my Ferris, as fast as it goes, you're, you, I don't care what you do. You're not going to get amazing cut quality if you're, you know, going as fast as it'll go. This one right here, I do. Um, it has a ZT3100, uh, eight, yeah, ZT3100, um, transaxles on it. Um, it goes about eight to nine miles an hour and I can go full steam ahead and a beautiful cut. Now I'm usually at full throttle when I'm mowing. Um, that just seems to be where it's happier at and it mows beautifully. I don't have any scragglers. It gives one of the cleanest, most commercial looking cuts I've seen yet. Um, so, I mean, I can tell you, I mean, I, I run a lawn service, uh, you know, I have some pretty decent uh, sized clients and I've had people brag on what this thing makes their lawn look. I have. I've had them absolutely brag on it. Man, that thing is amazing. Don't bring your Ferris back. Please don't mow my lawn with anything but that mower. I'm being serious, guys. Like, I've had this happen. Um, one of the things I'm really impressed with is just how well it's built, put, or put together. I mean, the hardware holding the mower deck up solid, even just like your little flip, you know, super solid. 
casters are solid. I love the gigantic tires they started putting on the front of these things. Compared to the Ferris, this thing is a monster. The only thing I want to change is I do want to run the no flats on it. Um, I love the fact that even though it's considered entry level or high-end residential entry level commercial, I still get the nice full-size commercial rear wheels. Really love that. And this is where things get a little controversial. The 690 or the FR 691V. A lot of people tell you this is not a commercial mower. Now I have a background in drag racing, building engines, and just all kinds of stuff. I don't see anything about this engine that makes it not being a commercial, other than the fact they don't want you getting a mower with this and use it commercially when they can sell you something more expensive. That's really the only thing, the only difference that I see. Um, that and the fact that it doesn't come with the uh, commercial air, air filter kit, which we actually do plan on putting on this mower. Um, Partsman.com, I think, sells it. That and the ROPS kit is what we're about to put on this mower. Um, just to make me feel a little bit. I don't really like the ROPS kit, but there is situations where I can see it needed. Even though this thing does do, do good on heels or anytime that you're sideways, it does really well. Now I will say if you, you know, I see a lot of people that may complain about having issues about these engines, but I also, one of the most common things I see, which blows my mind, is on a completely cold start, they start the mower up and then full throttle. Like don't give it no time to warm up, no time to get oil pressure, nothing, just bam. And then, you know, you see people like, well, I only got like $600 out of that engine. Well, I'm amazed you got that many. So, you know, anyway, the discharge cover is something that I also really like about this mower. Now, my fares, I have a bungee cord holding it up, kind of rigged up. This thing right here, it's up. You drop it down, you're good to go. And yeah, you got to put it up in a special way. You just lift it up and it locks in. Absolutely love that. Love that. You can have a dial to set your mowing height, which is very similar to my Ferris. The Ferris isn't broke down in increments quite as well as this, uh, but I really like this, absolutely love that. My favorite thing still has to be the ZT3100 HD, or the ZT, yeah, HD um, transaxles. My, my favorite thing about it though, is the fact that your uh, levers are pretty much on the transaxle down there. And then your point to bring them into you is up here. On my Ferris, you actually have the pivot point down there. It moves over, and this whole bar is solid. I love this design right here so much better. So much better. Um, fuel capacity is not bad. It's actually really good on fuel, but the fuel capacity is not bad. I think it's like five and a half, six gallons, something like that. So, I mean, I can run all day on like half a tank. Um, and that's mowing like five lawns, not quite five acres, um, but super happy with this. And you get that gorgeous looking seat, man. Look at that seat right there. The only other company I know has a seat that gets close to looking that good is Skag. With, I guess it's that dark brown leather. Love that. Now, I will say I do like a Skag seat. But this right here was $6,800 out the door. Um, I really have looked at other companies, and I just I don't see that value anywhere else. I just don't. Um, Gravely has really stepped up their game. Um, I really never paid much attention to Gravely, to be quite honest with you, until Aaron's come out. And was at Lowe's, and really for the the price point of them, you're you're getting a decent little machine too. But now that I bought this machine, I gotta admit, I'm the cut quality blew my mind. I was super happy with it. Um, I literally take photos all the time, and and have that's where a lot of my business is coming from. People seeing the photos of how it cuts. I've actually had a neighbor watch me cut their lawn with this. Hey man, uh, I, is there any way you can? bring that over here and, and cut my grass. Like I really like the way you got the neighbors and all that. Yeah, I mean, we'd love to. I mean, I'm being serious. That's actually happened. Um, so really pleased with that. And um, what we're looking to bring into our fleet next year, we're actually going to bring a ZT HD 60. I'm not going to be going into the pro turn stuff. I don't, I looked at the pro turns. I like them, but I like just, I like the bare bones ZT HD. Yes. There's a lot of extra things that the, um, the pro turn has thing i don't like about the pro turn i don't like the way you set the deck height on the pro turn i like this system a whole lot easier just a lot simpler a lot less stuff to go wrong um and we're also going to be bringing in a pro stance um i think it's gonna be a 34 or a 32 i think it's a 34 that way we can get behind fences but anyway i see a lot of people kind of putting down gravely and talking about their cut quality and I, I don't know where that comes from really i don't even think it's the mower as much as the way you're mowing with it I have had nothing but success with this thing. I've had people brag on the way their lawn looks when I get done. Um, and my Ferris, I mean, it ain't no slouch either. It don't leave super deep stripes or anything, but it cuts really well too. So for them to say that this thing's ahead of the Ferris, that's a big deal. Like you're actually getting some serious, serious quality with that. 
anyways guys this is a video if you liked it please smack that subscribe button and smack that like button um but we, we're more than likely you're gonna see a lot more gravelies on this channel um especially i love the dealer we work with they're great people um they're they're really nice and really friendly and um that that makes me want to buy gravely even more so big shout out to you johnny d's super happy with you guys super happy with your mowers anyways guys this has been the video we will catch you next time